Hello and welcome to this review of Windsor Canadian Canadian blended Canadian whiskey. Supremely smooth, it says. A supremely smooth whiskey made with water born in the clear, clean Canadian Rockies, blended and distilled under strict supervision of the Canadian government. Made with only premium grains and glacial born waters. Imported and bottled by the Windsor Distillery Company, Beam Suntory. <coughs> In Deerfield, Illinois, the whis this whiskey is three years old. Now, in the old advertisements from 45, 50 years ago, they used to tout that it was four-year aged, but that's been dropped. I think it used to be 86 proof. Now it's 80. So it's a basic product today. Uh, the ads mainly focused on the concept of it's better than Canadian Club. That's what they would say. And um, it is now a Beam Suntory brand. They don't even show it on the website anymore. They got rid of a lot of the um, web pages for their products, whatever reason. So don't bother looking it up, you won't find anything. Um, I got this for $10.99 at Winn Dixie on US Highway 61 southbound. And this brand of whiskey, the trademark was acquired in 1880. So it's from 1880. Never before had it. There are some video reviews, and I'm curious to see what those reviews say about it. Nice brown bottle. Mm, clear, clear, and brown. All right. Um, See, I bought this one at Budget Saver on US Highway 90 business route westbound. I bought this on US Highway 90 business, uh, US Highway 90, 90 eastbound, right on the corner of that in Broadway. And this one at Winn Dixie on US Highway 61. Northbound. All right. You say, well, I really need to know that. Okay. Um, it's uh, golden. Nice alcohol legs. Now, on the, when they used to have the webpage, they were talking about, we use wonderful grain from the interior plains of Alberta. And um, I, I'm, I was kind of surprised that they took the webpage down for it. Yeah, you can smell the grain alcohol. Like most blended whiskeys, especially if they're $10.99 a bottle, it's going to be about 80% grain alcohol, grain whiskey. You know, you say, well, I want single malt. Well, okay, but you're not going to get it for $10.99. Are they adding some uh, good, maybe copper pot still barley and some rye and wheat? Yeah, probably. A company like Beam Suntory has such a massive volume that they can afford to put some quality ingredients in here and then age it for three years and used oak, charred oak barrels. Probably used Jack Daniels barrels. So this is more like a Western Canadian beer and uh, whiskey. And then the big one from the East, the real big one, that brown, oh, I'm, I'm thinking of Marula. <sighs> okay, uh, got confused. Beam Suntory, they're using the, probably used Jim Beam barrels. So their competitor is Canadian Mist, uh, <laughs> Brown Foreman, and then this uh, Beam Suntory, sorry. So many ownership changes and so many things to keep track of, but there's no excuse for getting that screwed up. Sorry about that. Yeah, and that's what the ads were saying. It's better than Canadian Mist. That's what they were saying. It's better than Canadian Mist from those other people. It does have more aroma than a Canadian Mist, really. And, um... 
It's more full on the nose. You get some, uh, like, like I say, the barley, some rye, and um, maybe rum. I know these are flavored. They can be flavored with rum, brandy, even bourbon. Are they using Jim Beam? Get it straight. Jim Beam bourbon in the uh, flavoring. It could be, you know, it could be that. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's mellow. It's not extraordinary or remarkable, really, to me, but the taste. <clears throat> Grain alcohol. Not really to the rubbing alcohol extent, but the grain alcohol, um, some rye, some barley, maybe we, um, I think this is probably flavored with a mild application of white rum. And what would be the Beam Suntory white rum? What is that one? Uh, it doesn't matter. It does. It just. It does have that under flavor of the white rum, which John and Neely and I were saying. What is that? Some kind of almond extract, but it's that light molasses white rum, <laughs> usually about a year age or less. Um, um, may have some blending sherry in it, or some other uh, dessert wines. They have to be. Uh, Canadian whiskeys have to use wine that are aged in small wood, they call it. Um, is it better better than Canadian Mist? Well, it has more flavor. Canadian Mist, our complaint with Canadian Mist was that it was so dull. I would say this is probably like a slightly inferior substitute for a Canadian club. Now, Canadian clubs age five years. And that would be the Beam Suntory uh, flagship brand. Uh, you would you would be able to get Canadian Club for about eleven ninety nine at Winn Dixie. And I've seen that in the gift packs, eleven ninety nine with the two glasses. So that would be your better choice. You're getting a two year longer age whiskey <clears throat> with the glasses. The flavor uh, actually isn't really that different. The Canadian Club, however, does have more of the flavorings you'll find. I said the beeswax, the honeycomb. So this might be better if you prefer more of a whiskey flavor. And then Canadian Club would be better for you if you prefer more of the sweet flavorings uh, type thing. For Lord Calvert, I don't know what to think about it. We tried Calvert Extra at in Georgia, John and Ely's uh, residence. We liked it. That's a American blended. This is Canadian blended. Uh, James Fox, I don't know. The Northern Lights, once again, I don't know. I, I think they'll probably be much more similar to one, one to another than they'll be different. These Canadian whiskeys tend to have a common, a very common flavor, much like American bourbons will have a common flavor. Now, there's a lot of variances within that, variation, I mean, to say within that, But you wouldn't drink Canadian whiskey and think it's bourbon and vice versa. Good amount of wood here. Is it a good value for $10.99? Yes, I do believe it's a great value for $10.99. Is it better than Canadian Limited or Rich and Rare? That would be a question that we'll have to answer in blind taste tests, but I think it'll, it'll be a pretty interesting competition. Pretty interesting competition. You can get these in the big bottles too at Winn Dixie. The handle bottles, 1.75 liter. They run you about $15.99. That'd be your better value. If you don't mind plastic. So score. Um, the nose. Mm, get a lot of grain alcohol. I think the flavor is much better. Uh, bodies. Medium, finish is moderate. I would say 90 out of 100. An A minus. I think it's a little higher than a B. So it, 
you you pay in 1099 and you're getting an A minus. I think you're doing pretty well. So um, people have been asking me for years, when are you going to review Canadian Windsor, Windsor, Windsor? Well, here it is. I'm pleased with it. So laissez les bon temps very interesting product. That's over 100. 30 years old, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.